this morning I put on two extra layers just now in the car of the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Milk. You can get this on, um, on Yes Style. It is a liquid sunscreen, SPF 50, uh, PA++++. This is basically a standard combination sunscreen. It has zinc, octinoxate. It also has Uvenol A plus in it, which is not a filter we have in the US. Uvenol A plus covers UVA 1 and UVA 2. So this is very, very good coverage for UVA as well as UVB. It comes in a nice liquid vehicle. You guys saw me put it on. I reviewed this for you all in my um, SPFs for oily skin. I really like it. Um, I put on uh, several layers. I don't believe this is water resistant. I'm not entirely sure. But the bottle is really, really convenient. And uh, you can hear, hear the shake shake mechanism. These types of these liquid sunscreens are really good in hair bearing areas like the beard. Either liquidy vehicles like this or gel based vehicles are really good. By the way. Hey there. Hi everybody. Happy <laughs> Sunday. Got our coffee? <laughs> yes. She was pretty fast this morning. She was really fast. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is our... And which is good. I appreciate yeah, that. Me too. So, last night we were going to start the crown, right? Yeah, I even but, got Netflix and yeah, just do that. You even put it in your planner, but we got we, uh, we got really, really crazy and we watched, what's it called? Sharp, Sharp objects. objects. My mom recorded that on, you record that on from HBO? Uh, yeah, I'm recording it because it's still going on. I think there's seven episodes that are... Yeah, it has Amy Adams in it. The first episode is really good. It's kind of like, I've never read Sharp Objects, but I have read uh, is it Gone Girl's the same author. Sort of like that, but the, this, this show's really good. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. Um, it's a little creepy though. I got kind of creeped out. Yeah. But yeah, I think is, you're supposed to get creeped yeah, out. Yeah, it is a little creeped out, creepy. And you've got you've to gotta pay attention to, to the show because they yeah. show stuff and then it disappears. You know, there's like, Figments of their imagination and stuff. It's really cool. Yeah, it's uh, something will go on screen and then if you look away, it's gone. Yeah. So it requires attention. Yeah. yeah. Um, you look nice today. Thank Is that you. A new this shirt? Is another one of those calls. Oh, that's nice. I yeah, I like. Followed uh, Mickey on my bashful wife. Oh, she gives she good recommended these. Yeah, she gives good recs. They're nice because they look. They're flattering and stylish. But comfortable. But comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I like it because there's lots of coverage. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is covered. Yeah, I like that too. I might have to get myself some. Are they soft? Yeah, we already went over that they're soft yesterday. Yeah, we did that already. We did the touching. Then last night at the gym, I listened to my, I'm listening to this book on Audible called The Incendiaries. Oh, it's really good. I'm enjoying it. Um, so I, I've got that, and then my books from the library came in. I'll show you guys what I got at the library. One thing about the Audible uh -huh. is I noticed if you enjoy the narrator, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot more pleasant. If for whatever reason you don't like the narrator's voice or whatever, yeah, it's like you don't want to continue listening to them. Yeah, the absolutely. The uh, narrator for the last book that I listened to, the um, uh, book was called Ed Educated by Tara Westover. It was a memoir, and that that narrator I've had before, and I I don't really care for her as oh, much. But I did en I did flat. enjoy the way she's a little flat, and I just don't like the way she does men tries to do men's voices. Oh. It's just kind of like I, I, I don't know. Somehow I find it annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on my list. Tara it's a, Westover. Tara Westover. Yeah, it's really good. I recommend it for anybody who is uh, definitely for anybody who's going into the healthcare profession or is in the healthcare profession because it just presents something that you will invariably encounter. <laughs> so my mom has this little teddy bear. What's the name of the? What's the brand? Um, yeah, Boyd's Bear. Boyd's Bear. He's really cute. He has like a little green sweater. And last night I noticed Ty B was like making some strange noise. And I thought he was like trying to get comfortable in his bed. And I looked down and I saw he had something. 
he had gone and gotten the Boyd's bear and decided that he was going to very, very uh, carefully remove the tag from the Boyd's bear. He didn't, he didn't chew up the Boyd's bear or destroy it. He just very, very selectively removed the tag. And chewed it up. And chewed, chewed the tag up. Yeah. He loves tags. Yeah, tags and um, Any kind of a tag, even if it's fabric, um, like the tag on his little stuffed animals yeah. he likes. And then he, if there's, or um, a sticky note paper, he likes mm -hmm. that too. Yeah. Bookmarks. He's gotten really good though on his, uh, on when we walk him at night. We have to wait until um, the sun goes down to take Tybee for a walk at night. He goes for one early in the morning before the sun comes up and one late at night because otherwise the asphalt is too hot. Yeah, we better too pause hot. and it'll, it'll burn him. But he's gotten really uh, grown up about walking on the leash and he, he's very, uh, he's very um, sporty. Yeah, he enjoys his walks. Yeah, he's a good he's boy. So he's very well behaved. What we're gonna do with Mr. P uh, king Tybee. He is the king. Yeah, that massive pool float you have, the Elvis Presley bed. We've got to show him the Elvis Presley bed. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to get rid of that. It's Th too That's large. bigger than my bed. It takes up the whole apartment. It reminds me of uh, one of those floats that you, you yeah. see on Instagram, you know, one of those large pool floats. <laughs> that's what happens. He loves it, though. Online purchasing. Yeah. Even though you have the dimensions, you know, and everything and the details, uh -huh. it's difficult to visualize something. Yeah. So I bought that. Not only I don't like it, it's crushed velvet. <laughs> I call it the Elvis Presley bed because it looks like something at the Graceland Mansion. Yeah. Yeah. But Ty B loves, he loves it. it. And when he gets in it, he gets like, he, he thinks he's a. Uh, <laughs> He looks like he's on MTV Cribs. Yeah, because <laughs> this is my bedroom. <laughs> um, it has some like an egg crate uh, or a yeah. mattress, so it's really nice. It's bougie, it's just, yeah. It's too large for. I've, I've thought about taking a nap the in king. that thing. It's too, too large for the king. Yeah. But you get on your. I did flax seed on top. I need to start eating more of that. I got oh. the brown flaxseed in your uh, but hash brown. Um, raw spinach on the bottom, uh -huh. tofu scramble, uh -huh. and then uh, lots of hash browns. Yeah. And so flax. You guys always ask about like this salad. It's it's from the salad bar, but if you get one of the cups that doesn't have a sticker on it, they'll weigh it. So it's basically like getting from the salad bar, and my mom just makes like a little parfait in it. But if you get, like I got, one of the cups with a sticker on it, it's for oatmeal. And so that is just priced as is. I'll show you. You can get oatmeal and, and the oatmeal toppings. They have a little oatmeal bar. So that's what I got, steel cut oats. And I just topped it with some strawberries and blackberries. And they have really good toasted pecans here. And some dried blueberries and raisins. And then toasted coconut flakes slivered almonds, and they have a little bit of granola you can sprinkle on top as well. Did you get watermelon too? I think no. I see wa oh, that's no, it's strawberry, strawberry that got oh. mushed in there. Yep. <laughs> so, the good thing about this, the reason I like it is mm -hmm. it keeps it hot. Yeah, it does. Um, because if you just get a flat plate, it's cold by the time. And they're compostable containers too. Yeah, that's a good nice. thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, another fun tip while I was in Chicago, you guys may have noticed me talking about and in my prior grocery haul before leaving how I got the instant oatmeal packets and I just make it in the hotel room using the little coffee pot so that I don't have to go out to eat for breakfast because first of all it can be a just a time suck to go and find breakfast yeah. in the morning I just didn't have time and you save a lot of money doing it that way but I ate all of my oatmeal packets and I didn't have any the last day so there was a Whole Foods near me, um, and I went and got more quick cook oats from Whole Foods. That they're bulk bins. It's like oh, 15 yeah. cents. <laughs> so if you happen to be traveling, that is another option. If you uh, if you didn't bring it, or you know you're looking for a breakfast breakfast option, yeah, it was like I spent 15 cents on breakfast. That's amazing. <laughs> did you did you have things to put in the oatmeal? 
Yeah, I brought stuff oh. like flax seed. I brought hemp seeds. Oh, there you go. And stevia. Stevia. <laughs> I like saying stevia. <laughs> passing by this colon hydrotherapy school. Um, that sounds interesting. They have the peach one that I like. I get these refill bags because I have that pump. I have that pump that I got from uh, on the name. The Muji store um, that I just refill so it's cheaper than buying the than buying the pump. <laughs> Plus less waste. Look at all the masks guys. <laughs> you guys like masks. <laughs> I also like this shampoo. I've tried it before. It's really good. The Ikima Ikami? Ikami, crazy Ikami. It's like a cherry blossom, I think. I just realized I grabbed the body wash bag. Here's the shampoo down here. They also have a conditioner, but I don't end up using, I don't use conditioner, I just use the shampoo and I find it's fine. Currently I'm using this scent, the um, aloe, grape aloe. It's really nice too, but I, I like the peach. <laughs> I have a bakery in here. I don't think I've ever shown you all. Hybrid. <laughs> um, some sweets. Those look good. I've got sesame in them. And then savory pastries. And coffee, tea. Ready? I was just showing them the uh, pastries. Oh, let's go look at their little cakes too. They're cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sweet tin with the pretty houses. I buy that just for the tin. <laughs> this would make a nice gift. Little violet candies. I like him. <laughs> That's pretty. It has strawberries inside. <laughs> this one looks like an owl. <laughs> oh my. The messenger. They have a um, pastry shop here. Oh look, Hello Kitty toilet paper. <laughs> you were just reminding me that I need toilet paper. Should have gotten the Hello Kitty one. <laughs> We've got a name. My mom got a Bubba Cup, guys. You got it at uh, Big Lots? Yes. We have to give your Bubba Cup a name. I kind of like yours better. Yours is, yours is more... Um, I like the colors. And, um, one thing I'm liking about it is it has the rubberized bottom, mm -hmm. so it's kind of nice when you set it down. Yeah, I agree. it doesn't skid. It really keeps the water cold. Oh, uh, definitely. The but only the problem I have with with it is that you it's hard to to take with you into stores. Yeah, it's large. I've been enjoying that little uh, Hydro Pro water bottle that I got at Costco. Um, it's, it fits in my bag nicely, but Bubba, I can't go without my Bubba and Babs cup. I call, this one's my Babs cup, and then the one I have at my house is called Bubba. 
My mom has decided she's gonna name her. What did you, what did you decide? Babette. 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 <laughs> Babette. So we have Babette, Babs, and then mine is 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 my Bubba. <laughs> oh, we're not peculiar, are we? Folks? I can give it. I give everything a nickname. Sometimes I I nickname things so people and things so much that I don't even know what they're called in real life. <laughs> I, I feel like calling Tybee Butterbean this morning. I don't know why. Oh, that's a cute nickname for him. He's Butter a little bean. Butterbean. He's a tittle mouse. Don't ask me what a tittle mouse is. I just made that word up and started calling him that. Tybee. Is that your friend? This is this is the Boyd's bear that Tybee got a hold of last night. Now, you know, he's acting like they're BFFs. He's winking at him. <laughs> Tybee just went out toys. and met a met his little friend, neighbor, our neighbor friend, Scout, the Scout. Australian Shepherd. Mm -hmm. So he's exhausted. Oh boy, I met a friend. Now I've got my teddy bear here. This is not yours, Tybee. Yeah, this little bear, he's quite sweet. Had a, another tag that said what his name was, but that has since been digested. No, it's all it's chewed, chewed, chewed up, so chewed up and spit out. Well, I was just making a friendly introduction. Look, he wants to dance with him. No, he's trying to grab him. Ty B, I saw that. I wanna... Hey girl, what's your name? Can I get your number? Can I call you? <laughs> Ty B. <laughs> Is that the stanky leg? <laughs> That's a, that was a dance. <laughs> the stanky leg. The stanky leg. You you shake your leg like like you've got something stanky on it. Oh. And yeah, that's my bed. This is my this bed. Is the Elvis Presley bed. That is huge. <laughs> is it? It's comfortable. Yes. <laughs> You know, if you if you're into camping, this would be a good thing to take camping. Yeah. Because um, it's the size of. Tybee says, "Well, good thing we're not. This, this is my bed. Get off. Get off." You like this is for me and the Boyd's bed? bear. Tybee. Can't we donate this to some larger yeah. dog? I just love it. I just love it, Mom. It's don't nice don't you dare. It's don't you nice dare style. get rid of it. Crushed velvet is all me. <laughs> I just love my bed. I just love it. <laughs> Ty B. Let me go. Can't we get rid of this? He's having he's having a, a temper tantrum of the idea We're of getting rid of it. Look, <laughs> this Ty B's so. having a temper tantrum. We live in an apartment. We don't live in Graceland. <laughs> Got to do my two by two. Try and get in two liters of water by 2 p.m. I drink three liters a day. Every day. Anyways, this is a book I'm currently reading from the library. It's Totoro there. Tropic of Cancer. It's quite good. It's funny to uh, to think that this uh, was once considered scandalous and um, <laughs> banned in <laughs> just the world we live in today. It seems seems like an episode of Sesame Street. But anyways, that's what I'm currently reading with my eyeballs, and then with my tympanic membranes, I am reading uh, the Incendiaries. Which is pretty good, but you'll recall the la one of the last books I read. The last book that I read with my eyes was uh, the Twelve Lives of Samuel Hawley. That was quite good. But uh, the next book on my list here is A Little Life. You'll recall prior to Samuel Hawley, I read um, The People in the Trees, and this is the author's other book. You guys have warned me that that this is this is uh, dark in a in an unpleasant way. So. It's, uh, it looks like a good one. I got, both of these came in from the, from the library at the same time. On a more cheerful reading note, my mom has been perusing the Ikea catalog. For some reason I was sent this, which is 
okay, because it's better than aimlessly wandering through Ikea or attempting to navigate the website. They did a nice job laying out the catalog. Did you see anything good in the Ikea catalog? Uh, yes, I sure did. The, um, there's a little shoe organizer that I think I want to get for the entry here. Yeah. Because, you know, we take our shoes off. So I'm going to look into that this week and see if it'll work for me. Those are handy. Yeah, and also, um, I like these uh, storage containers that they have that are made out of felt. So I might try to find a little felt dish for my peas. Yeah, the felted storage containers you have are nice looking. And then, you'll recall when I was in Chicago, I went into the American Girl place and I snagged a catalog. I was so tempted to buy these little... Uh, well, what are they called? The Welly, Welly Wishes gals? I know. We go from Tropic of Cancer to Welly Wishes, but they're so cute. Yeah, here they are. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> they have these little Wellingtons on. Well, hey guys, what's up? I just finished at the gym and got out of the shower, and I'm wearing my new Erin Condren uh, little kimono robe. I love this. I got it in the size extra small and the fabric just this is the first time I've obviously worn it I just put it on the cold rinse cycle just to just to wash it before I put it on the fabric is is really comfortable and nice and lightweight um, but I'm liking this this is perfect for for the rest of the summer and for Houston Houston weather I also like that it's got you know, kind of uh, billowous, uh, billowous armholes here for aeration. But anyway, skincare update. Prior to leaving for Chicago, I had finished up the Ceramedics Moisturizing Body Lotion. I was using it on my body when getting out of the shower, just as my my everyday body moisturizer. And I finished that up. And so tonight I gave the DML Moisturizing Lotion a whirl. This is one that I showed in my skincare uh, skincare haul from. From the stuff that I got um, at the Chicago meeting. This is the Pearson and Covey uh, brand. They make the PC sunscreens, the gel one that's that's really nice for hair bearing areas. And I've never actually really tried this um, personally. I you know I've, I've recommended it to to people and patients, uh, particularly people with acne prone skin. It works really well on the face, believe it or not. I used it to my body and to my face this evening, and it's fine. It's a lot more more lightweight, wa more watery than, than like CeraVe moisturizing lotion or like the Equate dupes of CeraVe. I love the Equate dupes, by the way, for those of you here. In, I think Canada has Equate dupes too. That was the consensus on my Walmart drugstore video. But this one is really, really lightweight. Probably not gonna cut it in the winter time, even here in Houston. At least for me, as somebody with eczema, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a thicker body cream, but this is really nice, lightweight body moisturizer, face moisturizer. Just get out of the shower while the skin is still wet. Just head to toe this all over. Wonderful. Ingredients, very, very straightforward and minimal. I mean, petrolatum, glycerin, and cyclomethicone. These are all long-standing, wonderful moisturizers. Do not clog pores, despite whatever the internet, internet mania around it is. And, you know, there is a underlying fear in people with acne, acne prone skin, people prone to breakouts. There is a real fear of moisturizers and moisturizers breaking them out and worsening their acne. And you know, we have growing and ongoing and more and more and more evidence that people with acne actually really need, need to moisturize. You know, back in the 70s it was thought Acne is a disease of excess oil production, which it is, excess sebaceous oil production. So we've got to dry it up. And our medications are effective. They're drying. So they, you know, part of their efficacy must be in that they're, you know, drying things up. But, you know, after some time, we came to appreciate in other studies that actually 
People with acne got a lot better when they were using moisturizers than when they just used the drying treatments alone. And some of the best evidence that we have for that comes from um, you know, the studies of acne medications that are in moisturizing vehicles, moisturizing creams, moisturizing lotions, like tretinoin cream, for example. Because in those studies, they include an arm that receives a vehicle-only control, meaning they get a tube of of they get a tube of cream that looks to the to the participant in the study like tretinoin but has no tretinoin in it okay and people who get the get the the vehicle alone control all right so the same cream that tretinoin is in but just no tretinoin those people actually do get better they don't get as better as people who are using the, the cream plus tretinoin, but they get better than, than no treatment whatsoever. So what that suggests is that um, not only are moisturizers um, not, not going to clog pores or worsen acne, in fact, acne will improve so long as a moisturizer is being used. And it suggests there is an underlying barrier defect in people with acne. So now, you know, we have more insights and mounting growing evidence at this meeting more evidence was presented to me that's more recent um, and really compelling that acne is not only a disease of excess sebum production and a tendency towards um, plugging up of the pores by excess um, you know kind of buildup of skin and and p acne is underlying that but also also a disease likely of a barrier defect similar to people with eczema. And um, so, you know, really do not, do not tiptoe around the need for a moisturizer. And there's a lot of phobia, you know, in, uh, about moisturizers, but really it's very important. And, you know, skipping all the gimmicky, gimmicky serums and all of that is really the way to go. And just stick to a basic, you know, a drugstore, affordable, I think this is available in the drugstore, but you know, something like CeraVe light lotion, you know, whatever, fragrance-free, like none of this like jazzy essential oil garbage, and you're good to go. It's going to help acne irrespective of, of treatment. It's, it's likely going to, to help acne. And as you're going through treatments that are drying and irritating peeling, everybody in the comments is always like, how do I cope with the peeling and irritation of tretinoin? Well, you gotta moisturize, you know? We've got data showing that. You gotta moisturize, makes the medications more tolerable, and it helps the acne or underlying disease get, get under better control much more rapidly. And if you just desiccate yourself uh, with that side effect. And you know that side effect of dryness and irritation and peeling, it subsides with, with ongoing use, uh, you know, usually around six weeks, you know, upwards of three months, depending on the depending on the active ingredient. It should not be a persistent ongoing thing. If it's a persistent ongoing thing, you know, it suggests you, you really aren't moisturizing enough and, and really, really drives home that barrier defect problem. So yeah, just bringing it back to the meeting and DML, this, this is pretty good, uh, you know, to get me through the rest of the summer. I'm happy to have this ultra lightweight, no nonsense, 16 ounce uh, head to toe body lotion here. But. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.